Families of Navajo War veterans who were honored at the White House say they were dumbfounded that President Donald Trump used the event to take a political jab at a Massachusetts senator, demeaning their work with an unbreakable code that helped the U.S. win World War II. Trump turned to a nickname he often deployed for Democratic Sen. Elizabeth Warren during the 2016 presidential campaign, Pocahontas. He then told the three Navajo Code talkers on stage Monday that he had affection for them that he doesn't have for Warren. It was uncalled for, said Marty Thompson, whose great uncle was a Navajo Code talker. He can say what he wants when he's out doing his presidential business among his people, but when it comes to honoring veterans or any kind of people, he needs to grow up and quit saying things like that. Pocahontas is a well-known historical figure who bridged her own Pamunkey tribe in present-day Virginia with the British in the 1600s. But the National Congress of American Indians says Trump wrongly has flipped the name into a derogatory term, and the comment drew swift criticism from American Indians and politicians. Our nation owes a debt of gratitude to the Navajo Code talkers, whose bravery, skill and tenacity helped secure our decisive victory over tyranny and oppression during World War II, Arizona Republican Sen. John McCain, a decorated veteran of the Vietnam War, tweeted Tuesday. Politicizing these genuine American heroes is an insult to their sacrifice. White House spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders, asked about criticism of Trump's remarks, said a racial slur was certainly not the president's intent. Trump made the comment as he stood near a portrait of President Andrew Jackson, which he hung in the Oval Office in January. Trump admires Jackson's populism. But Jackson is an unpopular figure in Indian country because he oversaw the forced removal of American Indians from their southern homelands. President Donald Trump, right, meets with Navajo Code talkers Peter McDonald, Center, and Thomas Begay, left, in the Oval Office of the White House in Washington on November 27, 2017. President Donald Trump, right, meets with Navajo Code talkers Peter McDonald, Center, and Thomas Begay, left, in the Oval Office of the White House in Washington on November 27, 2017. The Navajo Nation suggested Trump's remark was an example of cultural insensitivity, and they resolved to stay out of the ongoing feud between the senator and President Trump. All tribal nations still battle insensitive references to our people. The prejudice that Native American people face is an unfortunate historical legacy, Navajo Nation President Russell Begay said in a statement. Still, Begay and relatives of Navajo Code Talkers said they honored the story of the men recruited from the vast Southwest Reservation to become Marines could be told on a national stage. Peter McDonald, a former Navajo chairman and trained code talker, who stood beside Trump, also took the opportunity to ask for support for a Navajo Code Talker museum. Trump obliged.